Today we work towards generating an infinite amount of gold, which we use for many different things including villager trading and end game food. To do this, I'm going to need an insane gold farm and a piglin trader. Let's get into it. Ok so to start working this gold farm we need to access the nether roof. But first I need some building blocks. Ok right, this is going to be very dangerous. Well, let's just go up here. And let's pillar up. This is so dangerous. Ah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we need to find part of this roof that's accessible. Ah, found you. Now we just need to glitch through. However, before we do that, we should probably go and get the materials we need so that we can break the bedrock once we're on top. Okay, so ready to glitch through the bedrock. First of all, let's take note of these coordinates. I'm just going to take a little screenshot. And now it should just be a case of throwing an ender pearl straight through. And there we go. This used to be a lot harder. Also, I appear to be stuck in the floor. Let's just, there we go. Place this. And there we go. So what we need to do is, I'll go under here and then I'll activate this. And then we need to try and spam click that corner. Okay. Okay, let's go. Was that successful already, what? Oh my god, no way, that was the first attempt. <laughs> I panicked it, I almost mistimed it, but wow, okay. Awesome. So now that we've got easy access to the nether roof, what we need to do is we need to go down and make this ladder safe. Because we're going to be transporting a lot of resources up here. Okay, this is now perfectly safe. However, I think in order to make this a little bit faster to get down, I'm going to put some slime blocks all the way at the bottom. Alright, now let's test this. Ah, works perfectly. So now that this area is made 100% safe, I'd be more than happy to start collecting resources for this gold farm. We need so much stuff. All the resources for this project have been collected. Why do all my projects require so many materials? Let's move these over to the nether. So now that we've got all the resources, we need to actually find the perfect area for this up here. Unfortunately, we can't use this biome. Okay, so this block right here marks the perfect location for this gold farm. Now we just need to go high up in the world. Let's get started. Okay, this height should be pretty good. Let's build a little area we can use for storage. All right. Empty the inventory and remove this pillar. Okay sweet, so this is what the storage system for the gold farm is going to be. So let's get that in place first. Awesome, the storage is in place. Now let's move up to the AFK area. Four rails in place, and the hopper main cars to go with them. Then we need to break the rails, place a magma block here, two temporary blocks, remove one, replace it with a piston, and then power the thing. Then we need to do that for the other three sides. Awesome, there we go. Now we can place the final glass blocks, along with removing the scaffolding. Put a few more temporary blocks down, make a glass ring, remove those blocks, and then place slabs. So in these sections we need 24 minecarts in each bit. These will kill the piglins using entity cramming. Okay that's one cell done, if I fall in here I will die, better not fall in then. And there we go, the four kill chambers are finished. Okay so next up let's get some carpets on here and using these carpets as a guide we're going to place some trapdoors and we're going to make these six tall. Then open all of them. We'll then continue these handles going up and then we build the back wall. Bring it out like so and then have a few stilts. And this will funnel the piglins into the kill system. Now we just need to do the same on all four sides. Oh, there we go. Next up, let's fill in this room. 
And then on each corner we're going to come up, make a full L like so. And then with our snow wheels here we're going to make them five tall. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the rest of the wall up will be red glass. And then we need to repeat this on the other columns. And there's our AFK spot almost done. The only thing missing is the AFK spot, which I've done too high. So remove that and there we go. So we've done the hard part. Now we need to go outside and place an insane amount of glass and magma blocks. So for this part of the world we need to leave the safety of the AFK room and we need to place a whole bunch of glass in a ring. Alright so I'm thinking we come out 20 blocks from this central location. Now we need to connect all four of these. Alright, there's a ring. Now we get to fill all of this in. So this central platform is now complete. Now we get the fun job of making another one. However, this one is made out of magma blocks, which we can't walk on whatsoever. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing we did with this one. I'll do the outer border first before we fill them in. That's the first ring done, let's do it for the other two spawning layers. Okay so it took a whole minute but we finally got all of these rings in place. So right now we're going to take out all this glass and we're going to set up a system on this top platform to stop gas from spawning. Okay our anti-gas system is now in place, meaning we won't have any more close calls. And since we have all of that done, it means we're almost finished this project. Now we just need to finish these spawn platforms. So I think we just placed something like 5,000 magma blocks to get this thing done. That was a lot, but as you can see, it's almost working perfectly. Plenty of these zombie piglins are spawning, which is pretty good. Now before we can actually use this farm, there's a few other things we need to do. To start, we're going to need to get some trapdoors and place them in some of these upper layers. Okay, all the trapdoors are in place, being this central part of the farm is online. Now we need to deal with the piglins that need to go on the four corners. Only issue is, I don't have any name tags. So we're going to have to pop back into the old road to see about getting some from some villagers. So I've been scratching my very bald head a little bit because I prepared some name tags for this episode but they're nowhere to be found so I looked around and then I finally looked at my ender chest and look at this they're in this shocker box come to me and yeah you should all do what those name tags say by the way okay right you come here let's get you over here awesome name you there you go awesome okay we've got one more and there we go the last guy is in place now we can remove this dot we can remove the staircase and then last but not least we can remove the staircase and the AFK section. And there we have it, the gold farm is online. One thing I should mention, this design was done by Amango, link to that in the description. Okay, this is where the fun begins. Now that we've finished this farm, let's do an AFK test for one hour. So there we go, our one hour AFK test is up. We've got so many levels, oh my god. So if we just pop down here real quick. Oh boy, these chests are a mess. Right, I'm going to have to go and empty all of these and sort out all the gold we've collected. And after sorting through all those chests, we ended up with this much gold. For only an hour, that's a pretty good amount actually. And for the sake of tidiness, I think I'm going to take all of this, craft it into gold blocks, and I'll put them back in here for later on. Okay, so I don't want to ever do that again. That took a while, I had to throw out like 900 golden salts. But that's not great. So I think what the plan is, is we're going to tear out this current story system and make something a little more automated. And there we go, the story system for this gold farm is complete. We've got more stories than we'll ever need for this farm. We've even got a gold trim because apparently gold is now easy to come by. So a few things worth mentioning, we have an impulse SV item sorter, quite a few of them actually. We then have an ethyl hopper clock which hooks up to the item transportation system up here. This system funnels all the items in one place and then 
bounces them about because unfortunately we can't use water in the nether. Now I want to give this system a proper test so what I've done is all the gold we've collected so far I've crafted it into blocks and we're keeping it in here so we have just over a stack. I think what we should do is we should probably go in AFK for say another hour to make sure this system properly works. So I think it's fair to say that AFK session was successful. This storage system works perfectly. However, all these chests were a bit overkill. And I've just went around and did a quick check and everything seems to work perfectly so we don't need to fix anything. So now that we have all of this gold, I want to do something very special. It's finally time to upgrade our food source. So up until now, I've been living purely on baked potatoes. And I mean, these are fine for the early game. However, we're no longer in the early game. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a shulker box of carrots, pick up that shulker, we then take some gold, and then we craft both of these into the best food source in the game and turn the rest of these into golden carrots. And there we go, there's a full shocker box of them. Oh my god, I went through so much gold. Time to do some more AFKing. It's like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. We've already done enough AFKing at this thing today. So I actually have another thing in mind for all of this gold. And no, we're not crafting it into something. Basically, I want some Soul Speed 3 books. Soul Speed 3 allows you to travel super fast while walking on Soul Sand. Basically, it allows for slightly faster travel in the nether or in the overworld wherever you decide to use it. And at one point fairly soon I want to build a nether hub and this is going to use a bunch of soul sand in the different pathways. So we can get this by doing a bunch of piglin barter. So in order to build this piglin barter we need to find the perfect biome. This biome being a crimson forest. Okay I think this spot should do nicely. But before we can build anything let's go and gather the resources we need. And there's all the resources we need for this Peglin Barra. Okay, this area should work nicely. Now, let's build this thing. Okay, this thing should now be ready to go. So in order to start using this thing, we need to get up to the roof. We should now be right above where we just were. Now we need to pillar up to Y247. Okay, there we go. Let's make a little platform. Now we can remove this dark pillar. Press that. And then take this all the way down to bedrock. And now we need to AFK to spawn a bunch of piglins. Okay, I've been AFK for a while. That should be long enough. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of piglins in place. Now before I go in to make the fixes I need to make, I'm going to take off my boots and put on some golden boots instead. That way these guys shouldn't attack. So first of all, I'm going to remove this observer. I need to check. Yeah, okay, all the carved pumpkins are gone. That's how these guys aren't despawning. Okay, so next up I'm just going to place glass there and then I'm going to close this, meaning no more of these guys can come through. Okay, so next up let's close this right here and we're going to push these guys to make sure they aren't occupying the space. Oh, and I got my observer back, that's cool. Going to need a slab and place it right there. That doesn't look right. I think I need, it needs to be a top slab. Do something like this and there we go. Now we should be able to remove this. Awesome. Remove that as well. Then we place a trap door here and another one right here. And then we open both of them. Then I'm going to close this one because this one's where we're actually going to stand. We're going to get some iron bars ready. Then we're going to pop out back, remove one block here and then another one right here. And then we're going to place these guys in. And there you go, this thing is ready to go. One thing I should mention, this design was done by ANX04, link in the description. Now in order to properly test this, we need gold. Which, if I remember correctly, we don't have anyone near enough of, so I'm going to have to go and do a bunch more AFKing. Okay, so I did a quick 3 hour AFK session to get all the gold we're going to need. Probably best to craft all that up into blocks. Okay, so before we can start using this gold to trade with these piglins, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to populate this shulker box loader with shulker boxes. And okay, this thing is finished. Now let's do this, let's put our boots back on, empty our inventory, make a fill and entries worth of gold, and throw it all down the back here. Now we do this, hop on down, open this up, and basically put all the items in this shulker box until it's full, and then just keep on doing it. And from that full inventory is worth of gold, this is how many boxes of shulkers of loot we ended up getting. Now let's sort all of them. And there we go. That's how many shulkers of materials we have after sorting everything out. Look at how many Soul Speed 3 books we've got. Let's attach these to our boots. So I've just realised that we already had Soul Speed 3. <laughs> that must have been from our first episode. Well, the first time we went through the nether, that is. Oh my god, why didn't I check this before? You know what? It's fine. 
It, it, it's, it's fine, we just have spares now. Alright, let's put this shocker box away. And with the sorting of that loot, I class this project as finally done. This was a lot of fun. Thank you all to my patrons who allow me to keep making this content for you. If you want to be one, the link is in the description. If you do that, you get videos early, so go ahead and check that out. But yeah, if you like this, why not look at this video? You'll like it.